Hey guys, what is up? It is Dan Lags, and welcome back to another episode of Tours of Los Angeles. I feel like it's been forever since we've did one of these videos, so I am glad to be back and touring another completed build here in the city. And today's completed build is the hospital building, guys. It's finally done after working on this thing. I believe I started it on episode 75, not 275, episode 75 of CLD. So that's well over 200 episodes ago, guys. It's been a project that's changed a lot over the years. It was a long time coming. Not sure why it took me so long to build this thing. I think it was just because I had a lack of a vision for the final product, but for some reason it clicked recently. So uh, here it is. This is the final version of the hospital. I'm going to be doing the full tour of it today. And with this completed building, it's just one step closer to us completing the map overall because this is the second to last building that I needed to complete in order to have all of the buildings in the entire city furnished. And that is pretty exciting stuff for sure. So just doing a little fly, fly around, I should say, real quick of the building. Uh, the entire interior is furnished. It's got everything that you would ever ask for in a hospital. We have a helicopter pad on the roof just in case there's some sort of emergency and they need to be, you know, helicoptered in for special surgery or something like that. You never know. You always got to think of all the options when you're trying to build in Minecraft. But let's go ahead and get started with the tour. So if you're new to this and you've never seen this build before, I've worked on it a ton on CLD episodes and my live stream, so I'm imagining most of you guys are very familiar with this build, but in case you haven't seen it before or you may have just forgot, uh, there's basically two wings to this building. We have the main wing over here, and then there's a sky bridge that goes over top of the road into this side, which is more of just kind of like a patient a holding wing. There's just basically a bunch of rooms on two levels, and then there's a parking garage underneath where we have some ambulances. I have four ambulances right here. I think they look pretty good solid little design for ambulances and originally i was just going to have this be a regular parking garage but after you know a while and thinking about it i was like we need ambulances we got to find a place to put them and i decided that the parking garage underneath of the building on this side is just plenty big to fit you know all of the parking needs for potential people that are going to be coming here but Anyway, let's get started with the tour on the interior. We're actually going to go in through the emergency room entrance. There are multiple different entrances to this building. We'll just start off with this one. So right as you walk in, this is the emergency room lobby. We have some waiting areas here. We have the main reception desk. Over here would be the desk where you would buzz in, I guess. So they would hit that button and it would open the door in theory. That, that didn't actually just happen. I just so happened to be standing on the pressure plate. But you kind of know how that works where there's like that door where you have to get buzzed in. That's kind of like what I meant by that. Over here, we have a couple of different rooms. We have the women's restroom. I'm just going to go through like probably one of these. Um, and then like I'm just going to kind of skip over the rest of them since they're pretty much all the same. And then the men's restroom is over here. If I can get through the door, that's fantastic. Over here, we have the stairwell that leads to all the other floors of this side of the hospital wing. And then right over here, we have the elevator, which again, does the same exact thing, except you don't have to walk up the stairs, which is fantastic. All right. Well, anyway. Let's go into the emergency room here. This is kind of like the special surgery area, kind of. So we have a couple of just, I guess these are kind of just uh, small beds, I guess. Uh, if patients, you know, are waiting to go in or they just came out of surgery or something like that, that's where they would be held. Over here, we have a sitting area for like families, uh, for someone who's getting surgery potentially. In here, we just have an extra bathroom just in case. And then if you move all the way around the corner over here, we have ourselves the surgery room, which is in here. I know it might look a little bit like a dentist appointment, but it was a little bit difficult to differentiate between those two things. So this is what I kind of came up with for this room. And then over here, just we kind of just have another desk. So that's basically the surgery room over here, but that is not the only thing we have to check out in the hospital. We got plenty more to go through, so let's keep going. So this right here is the doctor's offices, and each one of these rooms in here has a waiting room, then a doctor's secretary reception, some filing cabinets, and then the doctor's room back here with some extra shelving, so a sink and, you know, a countertop, and then some chairs. And then this is where, like, the patient would sit, where they're getting diagnosed by a doctor or whatever. They're having their appointment, and they're going over all that stuff. That's where they would sit. And here is just the entrance to the reception desk. Nothing too crazy there. And then these other two rooms in here are exactly the same as what I just showed you guys. It's like a slightly different format. So we will skip over those. And here is the waiting room for the doctor's offices. And this actually leads to the other side of the street in terms of an entrance to the hospital. So you can access the street from here. This is the other side from where we first entered. 
Got uh, the parking garage there, you know, other apartment buildings, etc., etc. We also have the entrance to the cafeteria over there, but we will get to that in a little bit. But nothing too much to go over here in this particular room. Uh, we have a couple of bathrooms here, men's and women's, on the wall there. And then again, just some waiting areas if you're waiting for your doctor's appointment. If you came in a little early, you can just sit there for a little while. And then overall, I really like the theme of this area with the gray and the cyan and then mixed in with the white and the sea lanterns. I think it's a good color format. So I'd highly recommend that if you're looking to try something new in terms of color schemes. Right through here is just another pathway that leads over to this hallway. If you continue down that way, it goes back to the emergency room. So we're going to head this way. Basically, this is just a big open hallway. I thought this was a pretty good addition because originally this was just kind of closed off and it didn't access the second floor but now we has a balcony up here i think it looks a little bit better so coming on over here we have ourselves a couple of tables and this is for the cafeteria if you wanted to eat your food over here that's where you would do it and then this over here is the cafeteria itself this is where you would get your food served to you kind of just go all the way around the countertops until you have everything you need and then back here is the kitchen for the uh, for the uh, library, not that's not a library, for the cafeteria. And then, as I mentioned a few minutes ago, this is the entrance out to the street from the cafe that I showed from the other waiting room. So with that, that pretty much concludes the entire first level of this particular hospital. So we're going to fly over here. We're going to go up the staircase. Actually, no, we're going to go up the elevator. Let me show you guys down here real quick. This is the parking garage for the hospital. Lots of parking. I didn't really put too many cars down here. Just a couple of, like, sports cars, I guess. So I got to add some more designs. Uh, you know, I'll do that later. That's totally okay. Didn't really need that for the tour of this video. And then if you want to wonder where the parking garage enters out from, boom, right here. There's a driveway in front of the emergency room entrance that leads you exactly where you want to go. So that works out pretty good. So instead of going up the elevator, I'll go up the stairwell this time, guys, just to show you what it looks like. So you just kind of walk up and then boom. Second level, here we are. So that's where the elevator comes out. Each floor from here on up has like a utility closet right here in this space on every level. So it's just kind of some filing cabinets and things like that for the employees and, you know, storage or whatever. Right here in the middle of the room, we have the reception desk for this level of the hospital. We have men's and women's restrooms. We have another waiting area over here because we have a couple of... Oh, Xbox just lost connection. All right, that's fine. The tour will continue. We have a couple of intensive care units over here. So these are basically similar to the rooms that I'll be showing later on, but the beds are a little propped up and then there's kind of like a machine next to it just to monitor, you know, things like that. So that's uh, kind of what we have going on here. And then we have another one of these, basically the same concept, just in a slightly different format for the room. And that's basically what we got over here. So this is like the waiting area for that. We have a nice big ceiling in here. I expanded this a little bit to add these windows. I think it looks pretty nice in here. And then we also have some uh, modern art on the wall and we have some vending machines. So we can decide to go down that hallway if we want, but I think I'm gonna actually go this way before we do any of that. So uh, real quick, that way leads to the other wing. We'll check that out in a second. Again, there's the bathrooms right there. But this is the uh, balcony for the second floor that we showed a second ago. And each one of these rooms is just another patient you know, holding room pretty much. It's got a TV, it's got a bed, it's got a shelf and cabinets and things like that. It even has a bathroom, so that's pretty cool. And then basically each one of these rooms here is the exact same thing that I just showed, except for the last one. This one is the entrance to the back of the pharmacy. So we'll show the front of the pharmacy right now. So a couple of waiting areas over here. I think there's a pretty big theme of waiting areas in hospitals since that is like 50% of hospitals is uh, waiting around, so. There's a bunch of sitting areas I tried to go, you know, I didn't go uh, short on sl on sitting areas. I tried to add as many as possible. So here's some more sitting areas over here. This one's cool because it has a balcony to each level and it also has a skylight. So I thought that turned out pretty good. It also has a balcony out to the city over here if you want to get some fresh air. Because, you know, hospitals can get a little bit stuffy sometimes. But anyway, this is the pharmacy for the hospital. So uh, you'd have the pharmacists right here. They could take your orders for whatever you need. And this is the back of the pharmacy. We just showed this a second ago. Looking pretty good, looking pretty solid. And then if we move on over here, this is the hallway that I was just referring to that runs back through here. Again, you can come out here on this big balcony, overlook the city. This is a pretty nice view, I have to say, of some of the other buildings around Los Angeles. And you can just come out here and sit outside, get some fresh air if you want to uh, just be relaxing or something like that, waiting. 
because there's a lot of waiting in hospitals. So that pretty much concludes this floor. So what I'm going to do is actually walk back over here and I'm going to go across the sky bridge and quickly cover the other side of the hospital, which isn't too crazy, but we'll just show it real quick because we got to show everything. So there's a, a pathway that runs down to that sitting area. I was over there just a second ago, but this is the sky bridge. This is probably my favorite part of the hospital. I just think it's really cool how it goes over the road. It's got a nice big view. You can actually get some decent views of the city from here. So pretty cool here on Xbox One with the further render distance. You know, guys, I love to do the tours on this console because it just looks that much better. But here is the other side of the hospital wing. Basically, there's just a bunch of rooms. And I'll just show you guys one of them. In fact, they look pretty much the same as the ones that I was showing earlier. So again, you know, just a bed, a chair, TV, table, dresser, bathroom. They're all the same. Every single one of these is exactly the same. I believe we have like a utility closet over here. Yeah, we got a utility closet. We have a staircase that goes up to the next level. So we'll go up this. And this leads up to the second floor. And same exact thing on the second floor. There's no differences up here. All the rooms are exactly the same. And here we have a bathroom. So that's pretty cool. And then, yep, all these rooms are the same. So we will skip over these. We got a nice skylight in here. Just add some nice natural light. And then over here, we have a reception desk. We have an elevator that leads down to the previous level. We have the staircase over there. Staircase on both sides of this wing. And then boom, right back down to here. And then you can actually go all the way down to the parking garage from this elevator if you drop down here. Boom, there's the ambulances where we started off the tour. So let's go back into the other wing. We'll fly through this door, fly down this hallway, and then we will go up the staircase again. We're almost done with the tour already, guys. It is a, a pretty big building, so we're definitely going to be doing like a hide and seek on it soon. I think that would be pretty fun. But here is level three. Again, the lobby here is very similar to this previous level. The only major difference you'll notice is that there's uh, no balcony there or there's no entrance there because there's actually a wall behind it and you would fall to the previous level, which is not what we're looking for because you're trying to prevent injuries at hospitals, not cause injuries. So anyway, um, here is the reception desk. Same exact thing on the other side. Utility closet, same exact thing. Bathrooms, same exact thing. And then here is the window that's actually above the sky bridge which is pretty cool so if we continue down this hallway again these are the same exact rooms you know i'm gonna sound like a broken record at this point but it's true these actually have showers on them so they're a little bit more deluxe here on this floor which is pretty cool so you basically just continue down this hallway you can go straight through or you can pull a left we're actually going to pull a left first and we'll come back and then if you turn this corner this actually leads into the chapel for the hospital so we will go in there for in a little bit but we have some more sitting areas and waiting areas on this side. We have a nice window. Again, tried to add lots of open space and lighting in here just to make it more of a pleasant, pleasant staying experience because, you know, people don't want to be in the hospital. So um, in here we have some sitting areas again. And this is actually the MRI slash x-ray machine room. So we have some sitting areas here. We have some filing cabinets. This is where the uh, you know attendant would be making sure that everything's going smoothly. And if you go through this door, this is the MRI machine. I thought this turned out pretty good. I think this looks actually moderately realistic. So let me know what you guys think about that. I thought that turned out pretty solid. Just gonna have to let me know. I actually built that on the most recent episode of Constructing Los Angeles. I just got slammed my door in the face. That's okay though. But anyway, this is the balcony that leads down to the sitting area that we showed before where the ICUs are and the modern art. So we're going to fly down this hallway again, guys, and we're going to turn the corner and we're going to go in here. So basically, we have some more sitting areas up here right above what you guys saw previously. And that's pretty much all that we got in here. But if you go straight across here, we have the church chapel. So I thought it'd be a good idea to add a chapel into the church because a lot of people want to come and pray for their loved ones if they're going through a hard time. So they can do that here. We actually even have like a little uh, stained glass thing. Uh, on the window there just to kind of make it a little bit more of that churchy vibe we have um across there and we have a little podium here that someone could speak at and then we have a bunch of benches so i thought it turned out pretty good uh it was a good use of the space i was having a hard time figuring out like where i wanted to build this thing but i think this is a pretty good spot and then over here these are the doors that lead down to the hallway that we were just at so let's move on back over here we're going to fly down this hallway and we're going to go up the staircase one last time to the final level of the hospital before the tour is complete. So in here is the last level. This is more of a research center and other things. There's no patients being held on this floor. We just got a big sitting area here in the front, another utility closet over there and the elevator, you know, like every floor. 
in here is kind of like a research center, medical research center or something like that. So we just have a bunch of desks here. I use the brewing stands as some sort of scientific tool. Not exactly sure what that would uh, specifically be. Maybe like beakers or something like that. I don't know. I'm not a science guy. I'm not Bill Nye out here, but I'm just trying to make stuff look kind of cool in Minecraft. And again, that's basically what this room is supposed to be. Just kind of like a medical research center. Uh, definitely need something like that in the hospital. So I thought this turned out pretty solid. So we will go back through here. And we will go over here to the final addition to the hospital. Little reception desk here. We have a nice big conference table in the middle. And I think this looks really nice. I originally built this a little bit differently, but I made some changes to it. And I think it looks fantastic in its current state. We have some bathrooms right here. Really nice view of the city from here, which is pretty cool. But then the last thing over here is the president's office. This would be the president of the hospital. And he's got a pretty nice office, right? Lots of windows, a really good looking desk, some big chairs here if he has any clients coming in. And this is a pretty solid office. Man, if I have an office like this someday, I must have made it because this is a pretty damn good looking office. So that with that, guys, that's pretty much it for the hospital tour on the interior. So last thing I'm going to show you guys before we conclude this tour of Los Angeles, we're going to go up the elevator one last time. We can also go up the staircase, but I'll show you guys both. If you go up the staircase to this level, we have an iron door here that you can open up. And this leads out to the rooftop. And this is where the helipad is, like I said at the beginning. Just in case someone needs to get helicoptered in if they have like a really bad, um, you know, accident or something like that. That's where you would land. And then this elevator goes straight down to the emergency room. So it turn, turned out pretty good. Everything seems to be pretty logical. Uh, guys, that's going to conclude my tour of my hospital here in Los Angeles. Uh, I think it looked pretty good. It turned out all right. Uh, it took me a long time to build this hospital. I mean, the amount of crazy designs that I started with before I finally got something that stuck was pretty crazy. So um, thank you guys for all the support on me you know, building this hospital in Los Angeles and watching the streams and stuff like that and giving me ideas. I really appreciate it. And it culminated to a completed project and another tour of Los Angeles. So uh, guys, if you enjoyed this hospital, if you've got any inspiration or anything like that, you know, that's what I'm here for. Give this video a like rating, and I will see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.